So uh, this presentation is on common birds of Belize. And we'll start off with the contents. Uh, we have the introduction, why birds are important, game bird species, toucans, uh, parrots, raptors, owls, water birds, seabirds, and references that we use for this presentation and that we use here at the clinic. So as an introduction, birds have feathers and wings and most of them can fly. Their bones are light and hollow and their bodies are streamlined to aid them in flying. And they either have feet or talons in uh, regards to raptors. And they have beaks instead of teeth and they use their beaks to tear, bite, chisel, crush or chew. Uh, their food. Globally, there are up to 9,700 bird species of 249 families. And here in Belize, up to date, we have, they have recorded 587 87, sorry, species of 75 families. And they are present in all habitats and all environments. Um, for this, presentation uh, list of songbird species is not included since that is an extensive list um, for this program. So, but typical issues why songbirds come into the clinic are they are hit by a car or they are attacked by our cats or dogs or they crash into our walls or uh, reflective windows or clear windows and they also do some crop reading in regards to parrots, uh, woodpeckers, uh, um, birds that eat fruit or in use the fruit to catch insects and they also live in our buildings or attics um, anywhere they can make a nest. Now, why are birds important? Well, they are important for our tourism, especially here in Belize. Birding is a huge uh, tourist attraction that brings in people from all over the world to see the birds that we have here. They, have a, they are a source of food. We have game bird species that are, well, we have bird species that are game species. Um, they serve as pollinators or seed eaters and we also have scavengers that clean up the environment and species that help with uh, population control of insects rodents uh, snakes and other uh, species of animal kinds of animals and they are also important environmental indicators to tell us if an environment is doing good or if it's not doing good so to start off with game bird species that we have here that are listed here in Belize, we have six game bird species and all of them have a close season from February to mid-July and all the other birds that are not listed as game species are protected by the Wildlife Protection Act, even these ones since they have a close season, an uh, open season. And in the... In the game bird species, we have ducks and chicken-like birds, which we will go to right now. So to start off, we have the black-throated bag white, Colinus nigrogularis from the family Odontophoridae. They can grow up to eight inches. Uh, they are small and look like small chickens with black and white scaling on their chest and belly. And the male has a black throat with a black and white white stripe on their face. And the female has a tan eye stripe and a tan uh, throat. The throat of the female is not black like the, that of the male. And these are found in savannas, meadows, clearings, uh, bushy fields, or woodlands and their main diet is seeds. 
Then we move on to our turkey leg species, the crested guan, which is uh, Penelope purpurescens from the Crestidae family. They can grow up to three feet in length. Uh, they have a crest on their head and a red throat sack, and the skin around their eyes is blue grayish. And they have a white. They have white spots or streaks on their chest with reddish legs. Uh, they are mostly found in forested areas in the trees and they are fruitivores, so they eat fruits. Then you have the great curacao, another uh, large game species. Uh, the Latin name for this one is Crux rubra from the Crassidae family and can also grow to be a little over three feet. And they have a, a curly crest on their head with a long tail and the male is mostly black with a white um, rump under rump and their beak is, has a black tip and the rest is yellow and the female is brownish or reddish reddish brown with uh, white and black bars on their head and wings and they live you could find them in uh forests forest edges and they usually roost in trees then you have the plain chachalaca the ortalis vetula also from the crusty family and grows to about a foot and a half a foot and three quarters um, they are olive colored with a small gray head and a reddish shoot and their tip is dark while the, their tail sorry is dark with a light tip and a, they have a blackish bill and they can be found in open forest forest edges and in savannas then we have the blue wing teal which is a, a duck species from the family anatidae the latin name is anas discourse and these grow can grow up to a foot and a quarter uh, they have a white facial crescent with a dark head and black spotting on their bodies. The female has a pale face with a uh, black streak going over across its eye and a small white patch on the base of the bill. And in flight, they have a pale blue patch under their wing, which is why they are named the blue winged teal. And you can find them in shallow, either standing or running water near rice fields or freshwater marshes. They are herbivorous and they eat grains and grass. Then we have another dog species, the lesser scalp, Aitia affinis, from the Anatidae family again. They could grow about the same size as the blue winged teal. They have a white stripe on their wings in flight from the underneath. And the male has a head and neck that is purplish green, glossy, and the sides <clears throat> and back is silver gray with yellow eyes. And the female is most, mostly brownish with a white patch at the base of the tail. And they can be found in lakes, lagoons, estuaries, um, anywhere where water is. Then we move on to the toucans. Um, issues with toucans that we find that come into the clinic are that they are experts, which is illegal under the Wildlife Protection Act. They are also hit by cars and also um, fly into walls or reflective or see-through windows. So the keel-billed keel toucan, Ramphastus sulfuratus, from the family Ramphastidae, is mostly black with a yellow face and, a, and chest, uh, yellowish-greenish skin around the eye, and a red underbase of their tail with a white top on the base of the tail. Their bill is greenish yellow uh, with some blue and a red tip. 
they are mostly seen in sub canopy or canopy of broadly first and first edges. And we have the colored colored Arakari, which is another toucan. Uh, the Latin name is Teroglossus turquatus from the Rome Fastidae family, again making it a toucan. Uh, this bird, this species is smaller than the killbill toucan, and it's mostly black with a red face and rump, and a yellow underside with a red or black patches on the underside. Uh, the lower bill is black, and the upper bill is gray. Around the eye, there's a red there's red skin around the eye and can be found also in uh, broadly first and the first edges. And the emerald toucanet, Aulacorhynchus prasinus from the toucan family again. It is a green bird with a blue throat. Uh, the tail is green above and brown underneath. And they have a large bill that is yellow above and the lower part of the bill is black and can be found in forest first edges pine forests and closer to mountainous areas and moving on to the into the parrots um, issues with parrots we have experts again uh, water window collisions um, and they are also in, they also can be in crop breeding, uh, either in corn or in fruit orchards. So starting off with the scarlet macaw, the ara macaw from the Cetacidae uh, family. It is the largest part species that we have here in Belize. They have a long, they are a long tail red parrot with patches of yellow and blue on their wings and tail and they can be found in uh, broadly first and can still be found in pine forest but less than in uh, broadly forest then we have the white crown parrot piano senil senilis from the same family of parrots uh, this is a uh, smaller parrot, uh, dark green with white, a white forehead and a white throat. And the head is bluish greenish, and also the upper breast and the shoulder is brownish with a blue underwing and a red under tail that can be seen in flight. Then we have a white, the white fronted parrot, Amazona albifrons, from the same family. Um, this is a green far parrot with a red face and a white forehead and a blue patch on top of the head. And underneath of the wings is there's a red and blue coloration. And this species you could find near agricultural land. Um, they might be one of the species that uh, are in, included in the crop breeding. Then the red lord parrot, Amazona autumnalis. Um, this is a medium sized parrot with a red forehead and a blue tinge on the head, on the top of the head. And some have a yellow face. And on the wings, they are, they have, they also have red and blue patches. And the mealy parrot, Amazona phyrenosa. This is a larger parrot with a blue tinge on the top of its head and some red and blue on the wings and the tail is a the end of the tail is a lighter green or can appear yellowish and around the eye there is a white um, border 
uh, which is called an I-ring. Then the yellow lord parrot, Amazonas antolora, is a medium-sized green parrot. And the male has a small yellow patch behind the bill, uh, a red eye ring and red and blue on the wings, while the female has a bluish head top with small yellow patch, a smaller yellow patch behind the bill than that of the male and also red and green eye ring and blue on the wings. Then we have the yellow-headed parrot, Amazona oratrix uh, belicensis, which is the subspecies that we have here in Belize. Uh, it's a medium-sized green parrot with a yellow face and crown <clears throat> and yellow flecking on the neck. Uh, they also come with only the front of their face yellow, right? So there is a red patch on their wings and they have yellow ties and the bill is pinkish to brown and they can be in pine savannas or open forest habitats. Then we have the olive-throated parakeet. I believe this is the smallest part that we have in Belize. Their Latin name is Aratinga Nana. Uh, they are a green parrot with an olive or brownish chest and belly. Uh, they have blue patches on the wings and yellow on their tail and a white eye ring. Um, these ones are easier to distinguish than the other parrots because they usually uh, fl fly around in large flocks and when they get into corn or um, other crops, um, they can be a uh, nuisance. Then we have the brown hooded parrot, the Pionopsita hematotis. Uh, this is a small green parrot with a brownish head, neck, and chest, which is why it's called a brown hooded parrot. Uh, their face is dark with a red spot on the side of the head um, behind the cheek. On their wings, they have a red and blue coloration. Now move on into the raptors in Belize and they can be victims of illegal hunting and misidentification. Uh, they are associated with livestock predation, uh, which would mainly be chickens or poultry, uh, but they are also associated with some newborn um, killings in regards to vultures, accidentally killing newborn calves, and they are also victims of um, car collisions. So raptors are birds of prey, meaning that prey that they only eat meat or flesh. And there are three main families. The Asipritidae, in, which includes hawks, kites, eagles, and hawk eagles. The Falconidae, which includes falcons and caracaras. And the Catratidae, which are the vultures. They use air currents for soaring in search of food. And they have strong feet that are hooked with sharp claws that are called talons. And they have a strong hook pointed beaks that they use to tear the flesh and meat. And the females are usually larger than the males and subadult plumage differs from adult plumage in most cases. Right. Um, and their plumage is usually gray, brown, black and white with spots, streaks or bars. So now the Catratidae species, which is, I would say, one of the easier 
group of birds to identify. We have four vultures here in Belize, starting with the black vulture to the left, sorry, not the top, and followed by the turkey vulture with the red face and the lesser yellow-headed vulture uh, with red and yellow face. And then we have the king vulture all the way to the right. And these are the scavengers of the environment. They clean up the environment of dead and death and decay. Then we have the osprey or the fish eagle. The Latin name for this species is Pandon, Pandion Heliot, Halietus. And this is a large raptor species with a wingspan of 1.8 meters. And it has a brownish head, brownish. The bird is brownish with a white head and a dark stripe through the eye from the beak to the back of the head. And it has gray legs and the underside of the wing is white with darker stripes and can be found near waterways inland and on the coast their diet includes birds mammals amphibians reptiles fish carrion and mollusks then we have the harpy eagle harpia harpia um, the, uh, the largest raptor species that we have in belize or i believe in any world uh, it has a very, it's a very large bird with a large beak and massive legs and talons. It has a bold black breastband and a split crest, which looks like a crown on the top of its head. And it has black barring on the thighs. The wings are black and it is barred underneath. Their diet includes birds, mammals, uh, even primates, and reptiles. Then we move into the hawk eagles from the genus Pisiatus. They are large raptors with long tails and a head crest, and they call while in flight. Starting off with the Ornithohawk eagles, Pisiatus ornatus, from the family Acipritidae, which is the eagle family. They have an elongated central crown, uh, which serves as a head crest. And the head, neck, and the upper breast side is a uh, rufous color, a uh, rusty brownish color, reddish. And the throat is white with lateral black lines. And the under parts are heavily barred. Then we have the black hawk eagle, Spiziatus tyrannus, uh, which is mostly black overall with a bushy crest on its head. And the legs are barred with white. And the tail has two to three pale gray bands and the tip is also uh, pale gray. And the under wings are heavily barred black. Then we have the black and white hawk eagle, Spiziatus melanolysius, Lucius. Um, this bird has a white underbody with blackish brown above on the wings and back and it has a small black crest on the top of its head with a yellow with yellow brown eyes and orange and an orange sear then we go into the hawks starting with the common black hawk but your gallows and track sinus it's a large bird that is mostly black with a dark hooked beak. 
and a yellow sear at the base of the bill and an orbital ring. It has yellow legs that sometimes appear orange and shortish, a shortish black tail with a wide white bar. Then the great black hawk, which is a similar looking species, the Butiogalus urubitinga. Um, like I said, it has similar pl plumage to the common black hawk, but the tail is much longer than, than the wings when it is perched, and it has two white bands on the tail. And the legs are longer with ties, fine white barring and a thicker beak. Then we have the roadside hawk. Some people call it the gabilang. This is the species that they call gabilang. And the Latin name is Buteo magnirostris. And it is a medium sized bird which is brown to brownish gray with a uh, grayish head and chest. And the belly is barred with gray and brown and the tail is barred with light and dark bars and the legs are yellow. These are usually seen on um, lamp posts or the wires are trees near the roadside or open areas. Then we have the laughing falcon, the herpetotheris sakignans. This is a largest raptor with brown, a brown with tiny or buffy head, chest and belly. Uh, they have a black mask around their eyes encircling the head. And uh, their tail is black with some light bars, barrings, and the bill is hooked, is dark and hooked. And their diet includes mammals, reptiles, which includes venomous snakes, which makes this an important species. Well, they're all important, but you know, some people fear snakes and they eat fish. Then we move on to one of the smaller, smallest raptors here in Belize, the bat falcon, uh, Latin name Falco refugularis. It is blackish with fine barring on the belly and the under wing. Uh, white barring and the throat is white along with the side of the neck and the chest and the lower belly is reddish brown with yellow legs and the species is mostly crepuscular meaning that they are more active during um, the earlier hours of the morning and the later hours of the evening before it gets dark and their diet includes birds, uh, bats, and insects. Then we have the colored forest falcon, Micraster semitorquatus, which is a medium to largest uh, raptor with a dark hook beak and long yellowish legs and uh, dark barred tail and there are different morphs of this species they have a light morph which is which has a black back and wing and a tiny chest and belly with a white face and the dark morph is dark morph sorry is mostly blackish with the chest and belly barred white or light brown and their diet includes birds small reptiles and amphibians Then we have a uh, kite, the gray-headed kite, Leptodon cayanensis. Um, it is medium to largest 
raptor with that is white and blackish with a gray head. The top of the bird is black, the wings and the back is black and the underside is white. And in flight, the wings have a black front and a barred black and gray at the back behind, underneath, right? And the tail is light and dark barred. And they have grayish legs and their diet includes frogs, reptiles and insects. Then we move on into the owl. Family. Um, issues that we see or the issues that the reason why they come into the clinic include being hit by cars or they are also um, species, uh, conflict species that live in attics and they also crash into walls or windows. We have two all families in Belize, the Titanidae and the Strigidae. Uh, they are nocturnal, nocturnal birds of prey. With soft feathers, large eyes, and excellent hearing, and a strong hook bill and talons. Now we have the barn owl, which is mostly a species uh, feared because of cultural uh, folklore, and they also live in our attics. Their Latin name is Taito alba, from the family Taitonidae. And they are a medium-sized owl with pale, buffy, gray, brown, and white. They have dark eyes that are framed by a heart heart-shaped facial, facial disc, which helps them with hearing. At night, in flight, they can appear all white, and their main diet is mammals, um, which are rats. And a fun fact about these, this species is that a family of five barn owls can eat up to 4,000 rats per year. And they are usually present in urban settings because of the abundance of rats, which is related to um, either access to shelter or food for the rats. Then we have the Ferdinand's pygmy owl, Glaucidium brasilianum, from the family Strigidae. They are the smallest owl species in Belize. Uh, they have a highly variable plumage depending on their uh, environment, but mostly, but not mostly, but more commonly, they are they have a rich rufous brown on top and a dull gray brown at the bottom, uh, or dull gray brown. Um, like I said, their plumage is highly variable uh, with different intermediate moors. And they usually have white streaks on the crown and white dots on the wings. And there we have three variations of the morphs uh, found. Then we go into the water birds and again this is just mostly common um, birds and they are victims of bycats and they can get entangled in fishing gear and they are also victims of illegal hunting for people who just feel like shooting down a bird so this is a neotropic cormorant the Phalacrocorcoros brasilianus from the family Phalacrocoracidae. And they are the only cormorant that is found inland. Uh, they are a grayish black 
water bird with an orange bill, a blackhead, and a blackhead. Their diet includes amphibians, fish, aquatic crustaceans, the crabs, and insects. Then we have the great egret, Ardea alba, from the Ardea de family. They are a large white heron with a yellow bill and black legs and feet. And they have a neck crook when they are in flight. And their diet includes mammals, amphibians, fish, reptiles, insects, and aquatic crustaceans. Then we have the Jabiru stork, um, with Latin name Jabiru mysteria, from the Siconidae family. And they are a very large white wading bird with a black head and huge black bill. They have a reddish area on their lower neck and they have a wingspan that can reach up to 2.3 meters, which is about five, five and a half feet. And their diet includes mammals, amphibians, reptiles, carrion, fish, and mollusks. Then moving on to the seabirds, which have similar um, reasons why they would come into the clinic. Uh, they get tangled in fishing gear, or they can also be uh, conflict species by stealing the catch of fisher fishermen, which in turn makes them victims of illegal hunting. So we have the brown pelican, the Pelicanus occidentalis from the family Pelicanidae. They are a large, uh, mostly silvery gray <clears throat> with nearly black belly. And the under wings is dark with a whitish central stripe. And the head and neck is white with a large beak with a pouch. And their diet includes fish, aquatic crustaceans, and marine invertebrates. Then we have the magnificent frigate bird, the Frigata magnificus from the family Frigatidae. <clears throat> they have long thin wind. Wings uh, and a long forked tail. The male is uh, glossy black with a small spot of red skin on the throat, uh, which gets larger during breeding season. And the female has a black hood with white breast. The white breast. And their diet is includes fish, mollusks, and aquatic uh, crustaceans. And that's it for the species. On this PowerPoint, now the references, as usual, we use the animaldiversity.org and the encyclopedia, encyclopedia of Life. And we also use these um, identification books, for example. All right.